Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Stellar Lumens news, a uh, little micro Bitcoin price action, and uh, we'll see what my rigs did over the weekend. Be back in a bit. All right, guys, real quick before we go on, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So all you got to do to be entered to win is um, be subscribed, hit that notification bell below, and when that enter to win video comes out, you'll be notified, all right? So with that, we will uh, look into a couple pieces of stellar news, get into the micro Bitcoin, and then see what the rigs do. All right, so stellar lumens news. Um, fast and seamless to race for cross-border payments market. Um, competition in the business of facilitating cross-border payments has just gotten tighter. Till recently, the primary fintech challenger to the reigning SWIFT international payment system has been Ripple Labs and its various products designed for the institutional banking sector. The first week of September saw the game-changing news break as IBM announced of its DLT-powered payment system, Blockchain Worldwire, from beta to ready-for-use product. Operating on the Stellar blockchain, the new financial rail will provide an infrastructure for clearing and settling cross-border payments with finality in near real time, at the same time reducing transaction costs by removing third-party intermediaries from the process. Uh, pervasiveness of IBM-powered solutions in global finance, the company claims to be handling around 60% of the world's transactional systems. That's a lot. I mean, that's got to be trillions of dollars, right? Uh, provides BWW, which is Blockchain Worldwire, with a hefty launching pad, immediately propelling it in the top tier of the industry that is poised to grow to a size of $2 trillion by 2020. IBM and Stellar were first spotted jointly developing cross-border financial solutions in October 2017 when they unveiled a plan to build a transaction infrastructure for the South Pacific region alongside ClickX, a New Zealand-based payments network. Um, I'll put this article down below, but basically um, Stellar's doing it again, teaming up with uh, IBM and their new blockchain world wire. Uh, another bit of Stellar news, um, within 24 hours of each other, Stellar's Lightyear acquires chain and forms Interstellar. Lightyear Corp. Stellar's arm uh, that supports its global partnerships has acquired tech startup Chain. The two companies have rebranded and will be called Interstellar. Uh, San Francisco-based tech company Chain Inc. was bought by Stellar-backed Lightyear Corp. Chain CEO Adam Ludwin announced on Monday, according to the Reuters, according to Reuters, both companies will go through a rebranding process, and a new company will be known as Lightyear. It will move Chain's client base and products to Stellar's blockchain network, developing a platform that will allow entities to issue, exchange, and manage digital assets, Ludwig, uh, Ludwin said. Uh, we were looking for a way to help our customers move the projects that we are have been working on from a private network to a public one, he added. Uh, when we started a few years ago, our customers were not ready for a public network. Fast forward to three years, their willingness has gone up, and the maturity of the public networks has changed a lot. Uh, Ludwin didn't want to reveal more details about the deal, but stated the chain investors had been cashed out. The negotiations for the acquisition, which was completed uh, last week, started in 2017. In June, we reported that Stellar was ready to buy Chain for 500 million in XLM tokens. Though the financial deals might have changed since then, nonetheless, Ludwin said that the deal has been a very good outcome for investors. So again, Stellar Lumens in the news, doing good things, uh, have a actual working product and working with some big companies out there doing good things for the cryptocurrency market all right so this next one micro bitcoin price let me just state right though there's no way in hell that this price is going to come out at this but for some reason binance 
seems to um, think, I guess they seem to think it's going to be right around this price. I don't know. I don't know where they get this figure from. But here we are in Binance. Um, Info.binance.com. Currencies, micro Bitcoin. As you can see right here, they have it listed at 15 and a half cents. <clears throat> Although it's not on any exchanges that I know of. It might be on MCT, my crypto trade. Uh, people might be trading it there. But as far as exchanges, I haven't heard anything, so I have no idea where they're getting this price from. I mean, maybe if you guys know, you could put that down below. But 15 cents, uh, it's got a 210 billion market supply. I know there's no way that it's going to be that high. I could see it be at 10% uh, of that, which would be one and a half cents. Sure, I could see that. But that brings us into what my rigs did over the weekend. And I added this price for micro Bitcoin at 16 cents. If that would be the case, we got $450 uh, mined this week. Uh, 2811 micro Bitcoin. I started mining that again, obviously. Uh, $448. I know there's no way that that's possible. Total value mine of micro Bitcoin, $6,500, over $1,000. Again, <clears throat> I don't think that's possible. We could go in here. I put that price in there, and you know what we could do? We could put a zero right here. That might be more feasible. Put it at roughly $0.02. Cents. Even then, that would be $44 worth of micro Bitcoin I've done this week. So that even seems high. So, so again, I don't know where Binance gets this speculation from. It's nice. Um, one of our community members, uh, he sent me a message on one of my videos about this uh, a couple days ago. So I looked into it. <clears throat> Didn't think there was any way possible that it was right. But, you know, here it is. 15 cents. So again, we'll see what it actually what happens when it actually hits an exchange. Um, like I don't think it's going to be 16 cents, more like maybe a one and a half cents. But even then, that's good. 6,500 coins would be 103 dollars at that point. I would be happy with that. So with that being said, kind of taking out micro Bitcoin for now. I don't know, but. Got $4 worth of BTC mined. I was mining Monero and uh, switching it over to Bitcoin, but it just didn't seem like I was making that much money. I did it for like three three to four days, and that's all I got. I mean, I know it's a down market, but that's ridiculous. So I just switched rigs over last night, late last night, to mining Ethereum Classic again, or at least this um, AMD rig right here. So we're only at $1.18 of that, which is pretty close to what it should be in this market with this hash power that's got still down that card. I'll be changing out the motherboard on that uh, tomorrow. I'll have time tomorrow to do it, so that's when I'll do it. Um, ironically, this is running on Windows right now, and the mega hash on these 560s is back up to 14, so go figure. I don't know. But uh, we got Stellite 2,237 Stellite mine this week, giving me a grand total of 42,484 Stellite mine. Um, if the micro Bitcoin price holds, we're sitting at a total value mine of $657. But I think I'm just going to put this back. I mean, what I had in there before was just a guesstimate on my part, and that was 0 .001 was my guesstimate. But I don't know. Again, let me know down below if you guys uh, know of any reason why this would be 15, almost 16 cents on Binance Info. Um, that would be cool. So with that, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new here. Again, let me know down below what you guys think of this price and uh, maybe uh, anything on the Stellar Lumens news. All right, guys, so with that... I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.